In a striking fashion statement, Queen Camilla chose to forego the ultimate royal accessory, a tiara, during her recent state banquet at the State House in Nairobi, Kenya. This special event marked the first full day of her state visit with King Charles, and it was a diplomatic affair that held historical significance and deep emotional resonance. Queen Camilla radiated elegance in a periwinkle tunic top and palazzo-style pants designed by Anna Valentine. As reported by Rebecca English of the Daily Mail, her choice of attire was both stylish and a sign of respect for the occasion. It was a gesture that eliminated potential controversy around accessorizing with a visual symbol of the monarchy in a country that once endured British rule and the painful scars of the emergency or the Mo Mo Rebellion. The Mo Mo Rebellion, primarily led by the Kikuyu people was a significant chapter in Kenya's struggle for independence. It led to a violent and brutal British-led crackdown in the 1950s and resulted in tens of thousands of deaths. While official estimates suggest around 11,000 Mo Mo rebels and others were killed, unofficial figures hint at a much higher toll, with as many as 90,000 Kenyans executed and over 150,000 detained. King Charles, in his address during the diplomatic dinner, expressed heartfelt remorse for the wrongdoings of the past. He acknowledged the painful and unjustifiable acts of violence committed against Kenyans during their fight for independence and sovereignty. His words carried a profound message of reconciliation and healing. Queen Camilla's choice to abstain from wearing a tiara at this significant event is emblematic of changing times. While tiaras are often associated with royal glamour, this gesture speaks to the respect and sensitivity with which the royal couple approached their visit. Queen Elizabeth herself wore the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara during her state visit to Kenya in 1983, a tiara that has often graced royal occasions. Queen Camilla, however, chose to wear it only recently at Mansion House, paying tribute to her late mother-in-law. This diplomatic dinner, free from the sparkle of tiaras, has deeper implications. It reflects the shifting role of the monarchy in a world where symbolic gestures carry weight, and acknowledging historical wounds is a priority. Queen Camilla's choice was a statement of solidarity, demonstrating that royalty can adapt to the changing times and use fashion as a powerful language of diplomacy. In fact, Queen Camilla is not the only queen consort to make such a statement. Queen Mathild of Belgium recently opted not to wear a tiara during a state banquet, following a tragic incident in Brussels. In the wake of a gunman's attack during a soccer game, her understated style statement conveyed compassion and empathy. While tiaras are traditional adornments for white tie affairs, these recent acts by queen consorts showcase the power of fashion to convey respect, empathy, and a deep understanding of the emotions and sensitivities surrounding diplomatic events.